Autumn had come to the island of Sodor. The fields were changing from yellow stubble to brown earth, and a tractor was hard at work as Thomas puffed along. Later, Geosonic and Thomas met the tractor close by. Hello, said the tractor. I am Carriage. I am ploughing. My name's Thomas, and I'm pulling a train. My name's Geo, and my name is Sonic. What ugly wheels you've got. They're not ugly, they're caterpillars, said Terence. I can go anywhere, I don't need rails. I don't want to go anywhere, said Thomas. I like my rails, thank you. Winter came with dark clouds full of snow. I don't like it, Thomas. A heavy fall is coming. Yeah, I hope it doesn't stop us. <laughs> Soft stuff, nothing to it. And Thomas puffed on, feeling cold but confident. They finished their journey safely, but by now, the country was covered. You will need your snowplough for the next journey, Thomas. <laughs> Snow is silly soft stuff. It won't stop me. Now listen, Thomas. We're going to put the snowplough on you. So me and Sonic will have no nonsense, please. The snowplough was heavy and uncomfortable and made Thomas cross. He shook it and he banged it. And when they got back, it was so damaged that Geo and Sonic had to take it off. You are a very naughty engine, they said to Thomas. The next morning, Geo and Sonic came early and worked hard to mend the snowplough, but they couldn't make it fit. Thomas was pleased. I shan't have to wear it! I shan't have to wear it! He puffed to Annie and Clarabelle. But they were rather worried. I hope it's alright! I hope it's alright! They whispered to each other. You and Sonic were worried too. It's not bad here, but I think it's sure to be deeper in the valley. Silly soft stuff, puffed Thomas. I didn't need that stupid old thing yesterday, and I shan't today. Snow can't stop me. He rushed into a tunnel thinking how clever he was, but there was trouble ahead. Cinders and ashes, said Thomas. I'm stuck. And he was. Right. Back, Thomas. Back. Thomas tried, but his wheels spun and he couldn't move. The conductor went back for help, while everyone else tried to dig the snow away. But as fast as they dug, more snow slipped down until Thomas was nearly buried. Oh, my wheels are coupling rods. I shall have to stop here till I'm never frozen. What a silly engine I am. And Thomas began to cry. Georgie, is that you? What the? Lola, what are you doing here? I thought I might find you here. Oh, Lola, it's good to see you again. I hate to break up the romantic feeling, but... Should you guys get me out of here? At last a bus came to rescue the passengers. And then, who should come to Thomas's rescue but Aaron? Snow never worries him. Pulled the empty coaches away, then came back for Thomas. Thomas's wheels were clear, but still spun when he tried to move. Terence tugged and slipped and slipped and tugged, and at last dragged Thomas clear of the snow, ready for a journey home. Thank you, Terence. Your caterpillars are splendid. 
I hope you be sensible now, Thomas. I'll try, said Thomas, and he popped slowly away.